So normally the posterior pituitary gland produces ADH, which is antidiuretic hormone. And in response to this ADH, the kidneys will reabsorb water and concentrate the urine. With neurogenic or central diabetes insipidus, insufficient ADH is being released from the pituitary gland. With nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, the kidneys are not responding appropriately to the ADH being produced by the pituitary gland. Signs and symptoms of diabetes insipidus include polyuria, so the patient will be peeing out large amounts of dilute urine. They will also have polydipsia, which is extreme thirst, and signs and symptoms of dehydration as well because they are losing all this fluid in their urine. So they may exhibit tachycardia, hypotension, dry mucous membranes, and decreased skin turgor. A couple cool chicken hints to help you remember the key attributes of this disorder is with diabetes insipidus, DI, you are dry inside, DI. You can also remember that diabetes insipidus will make you want to sip a lot of water. These patients will be very thirsty due to the loss of all that fluid in the urine.